friends, happy Monday. I hope all of you are well. This is Miss Diaz coming to you from my computer <laughs> at home. Um, so this is going to be a little bit different. We're going to be doing online learning, of course. Um, and I'm specifically going to be teaching social studies and science. So every week I'm going to have one specific topic and then that'll, that topic will change every week. So this week is social studies. We're going to be getting into some geography, studying the world, studying the oceans, the United States, all of that good stuff this week. Next week, we'll be switching into science. So this is um, our first lesson today. What is geography? So we're just going to be doing a mini vocabulary lesson on some important terms. Um, we are going to be looking at a lot of maps, so make sure that you have a device by you or maybe even just an actual like real life map so you can check that out as well. Um, so let's get started. There we go. So targets for today's lesson. So I can explain the difference between a country and a continent. I can explain the definition of a country, a continent, and a state. And then last, I can do my best to read a map correctly. So I know country and continent kind of get mixed up sometimes just because they both start with C, um, but they're very different. <laughs> so we're going to be focusing on that difference today. So let's get into our materials. We are going to need pencils, paper, Chromebook, or I should actually just put any device that you have really so if you have an ipad if you have your phone if you have anything that you're using to watch this video that is okay of course a map you can open a new tab on your browser to look at a map it's just so you have one handy and any knowledge that you have of maps or geography in general that way you already have like a step ahead in this lesson so if you have seen a map of new york before and you know what's on it and you know where things are bring that knowledge to this lesson because we're going to use it so i myself i have my notebook here and a pen right next to me so you can be digital and you can take old-fashioned notes i think they both work pretty well so let's get started so, so here are some key vocab words so you can write these down you can just uh, pause the video and then just take these down in your notebook so our first one is geography so the study of the earth and its atmosphere state a nation or territory that is part of one government for example new york state we are part of one government country a nation with its own government for example the united states and then lastly, continent, a large solid area of land. For example, North America. Now, I don't have a globe here in my room, but I'm trying to remember the carpet that we have in our classroom that has a map of the world. And I know where North America is. And if I look at a map of the United States, I know where New York is. Now, I have that knowledge from looking at maps and learning about maps for years. If you ask me where the state of Wisconsin is, I have no idea where that is. So it's okay to not know where something is, but you do want to know the difference. I know that North America is a continent, and I know that, you know that the United States is a country. And I know that New York is a state in the United States. So those sometimes get a little confusing, of course, when you say it. Uh, all together like that. So let's start uh, one by one with each term and we are going to define them. So let's start with what a state is. A state is a nation or territory that is part of one government. For example, New York State. So all of this right here is New York. This is New York State. We live in the city of Rochester. So Rochester, I don't know if I can zoom in super close. Yep, here's Monroe County. So this is where Rochester is. Here's Buffalo. Syracuse should be around here somewhere. When Rochester and Buffalo are examples of cities. So Rochester is a city in New York State. If you go down here, 
this is where New York City is. So Brooklyn, Manhattan, the Bronx, that's so down here and those are all cities. They're not states. They're all cities in the state of New York. So fun fact, uh, the state fruit of New York is the apple. So every state in the United States has a fruit that represents them. So when you are eating an apple or you see an apple, think of New York. We are the apple state. So if you want to pause the video now and take down these notes, you can do so or you can just let it play. So let's move on. What's a country? A country is a nation with its own government. For example, the United States. This map right here is a map of the United States. Every little colored piece right here, these are all states. So in total, there are 50. So we live in New York State. It's all the way up here. It says New York. But New York is part of the United States. So we are part of one country. And like I said, the United States is a country made up of 50 states. So let's see. You want to check out this map, see if you recognize any of these states. I see New York, Florida, Texas, California, Washington. Those these states right here, Alaska too, sometimes people just recognize them by their shape just because Texas kind of looks like a, like a boot. New York has this interesting shape and here's Florida, here's California. If you show me just like a square, eh, there's a lot of squares here that kind of all look the same, but these states are usually the most recognizable because of their shape on a map and they always stay the same. So... A country is a nation with its own government. So the United States is a country. It's not a state or a continent. It's a country. So let's talk a little bit about consonants. So a consonant is a large solid area of land. So this entire thing right here is a consonant. This is the continent of North America. So North America is made up of three countries. Canada, the United States, and Mexico. These three countries make up North America. So in the world, there are seven continents. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of that before. Africa, Antarctica, Asia, Australia, Europe, North America, and South America. So if we check out this map right here, this map has all of the continents of the world. Here's North America, where we live. Here's South America, Africa, Europe, Asia, and Australia. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and I forgot to say Antarctica. I don't know why Antarctica is not here. Let's let's fix that. Let's look up world map. Ooh. This is a nice one. Nope. There's Antarctica all the way at the bottom. Remember how I would say in the class, please go sit on Antarctica? That's what I mean. You would sit here at the bottom of the rug, if this was our rug. So North America, South America, Antarctica, Africa, Europe, Asia, Australia. Seven. So let's do a recap. So we learned a state is a nation or territory that is part of one government, like New York State. A country is a nation with its own government. For, the, for example, the United States. So the United States doesn't have any other government but its own. A continent is a large solid area of land, for example, North America. Now countries, continents I think are sometimes easier to remember because there's only seven of them countries there's a lot of countries in the world so sometimes memorizing every single country is a little bit difficult i don't even know that but memorizing the consonants is much easier and when you look at a map of the united states knowing that all of these are states and they're not countries is pretty easy too just because you know all of this together is one country and then these little pieces are all states kind of easy when you just see them together. Checking out every single country of every single continent. 
uh, might take you a couple days. So the next, we are just gonna move into our assignment. So um, this assignment can be due at the end of today. It could be due uh, tomorrow. Um, I might even put in a timeline to for when these assi assignments are due. They're not graded, they're just for you to really get a good understanding of each lesson every day. So in Google Classroom, I want you to answer these questions. So in Google Classroom, you are able to open a Google document. I'm going to have some instructions up in the classroom um, for how to do that. So it's just five questions. First one, what is the main difference between a country and a continent? We just explained this. Um, you can even go back to the video and write it down. That way you have it somewhere that you can see it. Uh, two, make a short list of countries. The United States cannot be one of them. So I don't want you guys to, you know, that's kind of easy. We know that the United States is a country. So you guys can go on Google and search up just five countries. They can be in, well, they can be in different continents. They can be in the same continent, but five countries. Three, what is the biggest state in the United States? So the easiest way to do this would be to go on Google and type in what is the biggest state in the U.S. I'm not going to do it on Google because you're just going to see the answer. And I kind of want you guys to do some searching on your own. But this is super simple, so it should be easy to get. Four, which country is north of the United States? If you go back in this video, I give you the answer. It's I can literally see it right now. I'm not going to say anything, but I can see it. And then last, what is a state? Is Rochester a state? Explain your answer. So in with this question, you have to write the definition of a state. And then you have to explain if Rochester is a state or if it is not a state. We just learned about, learned about this today. This should be pretty simple. These are some easy questions. I didn't want to make this too hard for anyone. So if you need any help answering these questions or submitting any work on Google Classroom, please make sure to let me know. You can always send me a note right on the Google, the Google Classroom and I will see it super quickly and I will get back to you as soon, as soon as I can. So this is our first lesson of our first week of social studies. We will be having a different lesson um, every day for the rest of this week. Um, there will be a lot of things in common because we are going to be talking about states tomorrow, but just a little bit in a different way. Um, but everything will go hand in hand. So that is our theme for this week. I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, please let me know if you have any questions or any comments, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a good day. See you guys. Bye.